And who recently visited Somalia says Somalia American youth are still at risk for recruitment by Al Shabaab and other terror groups. U.S. Representative Keith Ellison of Minnesota represents one of the world's largest concent concentration of Somali immigrants. And many remember the case of Shiro Ahmed, a college student from Minneapolis who blew himself up in Somalia in 2009 and one of uh, five bombings attributed to Al Shabaab. Uh, the group is also suspected in the uh, disappearance of more than a dozen Somali American youth. Mr. Allison recently told VOA Somali Service the U.S. needs to do more for young people. They, uh, they're having difficulty sometimes fitting into American society because of unemployment is high among all youth, Somali and others, because education is expensive sometimes. And it's just tough for young people to make a, make a, make a successful play, you know. Uh, and so, you know, it's important that we make sure that there is jobs, education, opportunity for Somali American youth so that they will be able to say no to these kind of recruitments. And also there needs to be a place where we need to make sure that the FBI and American law enforcement are seen as allies, not you know, um, tough law enforcement, but really a place to find help for the Somali community. Congressman Allison, who is Muslim, went to Somalia earlier this year, and he met with Somali's president, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud.